All right, guys, welcome back. Okay, so in this video, we're gonna go ahead and download jQuery, even though we're not really gonna download it. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Not like a traditional download where we have to open it up in my downloads. Let's go over here. jQuery version 1.10.1. Uh, if you're watching this video later than, what's today, June 24th, 2013, it's probably gonna be a later version. Don't worry about that. Go ahead and just follow the process. It's probably, you're, I don't know, if you watch it in a year from now, it might be at like 1.11 or 1.15. I don't know. Nobody knows. But let's keep going. Download jQuery. Okay, so right down here, jQuery 1.x, there's two versions of jQuery. There's a download, or there's a compressed version, which is very hard to understand. Uh, it's the exact same code as the uncompressed version, which looks like more traditional code that you would work on but it's a much smaller file. And I use this file because the shorter lines of code or the less lines of codes, the faster the web page is gonna operate. And I don't really mess with the jQuery, I just take it as is, especially this is a beginner's course. So it's up to you. We're not, it's not, we don't have a huge website with millions of files and huge CSS and images and pictures and stuff like that. You could take either one, but for the sake of the video, uh, I'm just gonna do what I've always done and I've taken this. Now there's two ways to download this. We're not downloading it, we're just sourcing it into our root folder. You could either save it, save all this, copy it, open it up in your text editor and save it as a file, probably jQuery.js, sounds appropriate. Or what you can do is you can go ahead and just take the link up here. I'm gonna go ahead and take the link, I'm gonna copy it. Let's go back to our, and this link doesn't change. It, it, it I, for years, I've used this same link. Say you did have a web page, and one day that your jQuery wasn't working, your your JavaScript wasn't rendering, the link might have changed. You just want to go back to this website and download the compressed version again. It might be a jQuery dot jQuery. I don't know. The worst case scenario is the link is wrong. So what I'm going to do is now that I know the link is not wrong, download the compressed. I'm not going to download it. I'm just going to go ahead and copy the link right up here in the URL. Now I'm going to go back to my header tags and I'm going to go ahead and source it in by HTML script tag source equals paste it just like that. And what am I missing? I'm missing my closing script tag. Perfect. All right. So we just successfully installed jQuery into our web page. How do we test it? Well, let's go ahead and call it. We'll go script type equals text forward slash JavaScript, not CSS. What's going on? Whoa, 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 whoa. And let's go ahead and in here, we'll just go ahead and alert something. We'll say alert. And if this isn't making any sense, don't worry about it. We'll talk about this in later videos to come. Just try to follow along and copy the code as I go. Say alert, village, park, source. We gotta go ahead and close this command out. Let the program know that we're done with that command. And let's go ahead and open this back up now in with Safari. Village, park, source. All right, good. Uh, but I kind of played a trick on you guys. This would work even without this in here. So say we go ahead and we'll just copy that, delete it, save it now, let's reload it. Village Park Source, it still worked, but let's go ahead and use a jQuery function. Let's go ahead and concatenate a jQuery function to see if our jQuery is successfully installed in our computer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and type in, we'll just concatenate on from Village Park Source, we'll do plus jQuery.fn.jQuery. And all this is gonna do is let us know what version of jQuery that we have. So let's go ahead and save it. Let's reload it. Village Park Source 1.10.0. Now let's go ahead and try to take this code out. Copy it again. So you don't delete it. And now we'll delete it and we'll save it. And all that's going to echo, I don't even know, it's just going to be nothing. That's it. Okay. So make sure you guys have this 
correct piece of code on your index.html page and congratulations, you guys have successfully downloaded jQuery. All right, I'll see you in the next video when we actually start getting into it. All right, guys, good luck.